You are such an asshole! AssholeConsulted.com, go there if you got questions, because I got answers, because you have money, we're doing this quick, because at Denver International Airport, the people on the PA system like to announce, I'll just, I'll have, I apologize if they interrupt, but I'll have to just stop. Hi asshole, I'm the drummer who fucked up his arm, well, long story short, I stopped feeling sorry for myself, quit the booze, I want to move forward, there you go. I want to ask a completely different question this time, I'm a minimalist, I currently work at a government job making $60,000 a year, I have no debt in a Spartan lifestyle, Expenses are around eight to ten thousand dollars per year. That's pretty good. I just got a vasectomy. I'm not planning on wiping up or getting kids. I just want freedom ASAP. Uh, well, you have it. <laughs> you have it. I have seventy-one thousand dollars in U.S. saved up, which I could sustain myself on for around seven years at Attention current expenses. There here. she is. There's that fucking cunt. They always gotta say everything. Okay. Fuck! Alright, you have 71000 saved up, which I could sustain myself on for around 7 years of current expenses without additional income. More than anything, I want my time back. Time to work on my own shit, uh, learning music production now, get healthy and enjoy life. My plan up until now has been to save up to 25 times the yearly expenses, invest that in index funds, and live off of the investments using the 4% rule. However, I'm contemplating just going gold, maintaining my very cheap lifestyle, work on my own business ideas and hobbies during the week, and work every other weekend at the airport as a security guard. There you go. I supported myself doing this for one year after college. I enjoyed my life back then much more now that I'm slaving away for incompetent baby boomer fucks at the government. What would you recommend me do? Grind it out the government job. Um, uh, in that case, for how long? Or go go out and support myself through part-time freelancing gig welfare. Let me know. Um, I had a couple questions. Says, to answer your questions, I'm not under the impression that my government job is worse than any other job out there. All jobs suck, right? It's just that I'm used to doing freelance work as an entrepreneur, freelance musician, where I can choose who to work with and get rewarded in more for more in cash for doing a great job. With my government job, I have to suppress my urge to perform well in order to fit into the Game of Thrones bullshit. Yep. Otherwise, my boss slash co-worker feel threatened. I'm worrying about the long-term bad habits that might develop from in me for not having to perform well nine hours a day. However, I'm willing to grind it up. That's a smarter move. I don't own a house and thus have no mortgage. I have up until now taken your advice from your debtless life video and was set on being a renter for life, but I'm open to those suggestions are the best. Okay. Here's the deal. Um, you you were spoiled as a musician in terms of what a real job is. This isn't to belittle musicians' work or, or that it's not a way to make a, an actual living. Um, but that's not the real world. The real world doesn't. You, you have a job. Be thankful and, and shut up. <laughs> Basically, take it. Okay. Um. And you can always do the, well, I could just go be a security guard, and it was fun back then. Yeah, it was fun back then because you were 20 back then. Times change, and you don't have your buddies around. Um, and, and... Attention all concourse, this is classified by the way, also looks on the flight 407 with service to Frankfurt. All passengers are required to wear masks and protect themselves from other passengers. Yeah. Please remain seated until the next flight is boarded. Thank you. 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 Knock out your largest living expense, and that is get a house. If you know you're going to live there forever, if you know that for sure, and you can find a house, I would work up the money, continue working there. It's just a job. Make your money. Shut up. Play the goddamn game. You're not fucking for promotion. And if you could buy yourself just a small little bachelor pad, so you never have to pay rent again, that really lowers the risk. You're not going to have the money because with rent, you always got to pay rent. So now you get rid of that, and you've knocked out the largest and most important expense, the lodging. So I would just shut up, work there for a while, make enough money that you, you buy yourself a small little condo. Uh, this is all contingent, though, on you staying in that town where you want to live. That, that's all contingent. If not, yep, nothing wrong with going to cheap route renting. Um, that's certainly the way to do it. But I would still build up the money, and that's an, that's an admirable goal, 25 times, but you're still going to have to work your ass off for it. You're going to you're gonna have to 
work and have that, that investment nest egg. But as tempting as it would be to like, oh, I'm just going to go go out and be a minimalist. Yeah, you can do that. But I, I don't know. While the iron's hot, make, make hay while it's daylight. I don't know if they have that saying in the country you're in. But strike while the iron's hot. Save your money. And, and build up a war chest so that's not seven years, but 10 years. Uh, that's what I would be doing. And then I would maybe even go for the 25 years. And what I would also do is try to train your brain to just clock out at work. Just clock out. It's a great skill to have where you don't... It, 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 my generation, your generation, and the millennials, and even the baby boomers, I think, were misled into thinking that your job's supposed to be rewarding. It's not. It's where you go to kill a percentage of your life. Anyway, um, I was going to say, I hope that's not my fault. Anyway, just go to work to make money. Don't think it's your career. Don't think it's your life, and therefore don't invest any mental energy into it. Check out, collect your check, and then go live your life. That's how all life has been. And in the olden days, when you were a peasant, you worked all the time, and then you went to sleep, and then you hope bandits didn't rob you, or the king didn't come in and take all your fucking money. So be happy with what you have. I'd save up a little bit more. And yeah, you could do the gold thing, but I would like to go into the going gold minimalistic security guard lifestyle with another skill like programming or something that's in demand so that if you need to you're not desperate for it. You make 60 grand a year right now. That's nothing to shake a stick at. That's pretty darn good. So I keep doing that for a while until you have at least 10 years worth of money saved up and maybe a skill paid for on their dime if they can train you in programming or something like that. Anyway, hope that helps out. I would I would I, tempting as it may be, don't give up your day job just yet. I'd save up at minimum 10 years and then um, then maybe you start and or get yourself the house and then and even then I'd still hold on to it do it I would just coming from the real world from the non-musician world until your music production career takes off you keep that job anyway, best of luck to you Toodles.